Did you know a deficiency in one or more common nutrients can be as deadly to your brain as smoking? Fortunately, there also is emerging evidence that some novel nutrients may boost brain protection and performance. My executive health patients are always looking for that edge to keep their brains as functional and sharp as possible in the boardroom, the tennis court, and while spending quality time with their loved ones. To help them find that edge, I'm constantly researching this topic. So today I'm sharing the top five brain boosting supplements I discuss with my CEO and executive patients to keep their brains performing at their best. Stick around for number one. It's a newcomer on the block that my team has performed clinical trials on. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Monty. We've all heard skeptics claim supplements just create expensive urine, implying they're useless. And sometimes that's the case. But as a highly published neuroscientist and integrative medicine physician, I've sifted through the science and the hype to arrive at what truly helps my patients. Let's get started. Number five, a high quality multivitamin. Surprised to see a humble multivitamin on this list? Let me explain why it earns a spot. Even with a healthy diet, most people have gaps in their nutrition. Busy professionals often skip meals or grab convenience foods, leaving their brains undernourished. While this isn't ideal, and I always emphasize that no amount of supplements can replace a nutrient-dense diet, I find that many people benefit from a broad-spectrum multivitamin. It's like an insurance policy for your brain covering the basic nutrients so your neurons aren't running on empty. It ensures you have all the building blocks for brain chemicals and energy production. For example, B vitamins like B12 and folate help drive memory and mood. Vitamin D supports your brain and immune system. If you're deficient in even one of these, your cognition can suffer. Think brain fog, low energy, or irritability. Also important to brain health are vitamins E and A and key minerals like magnesium. Study in older adults found that taking a multivitamin may actually improve memory and cognition, effectively keeping their brains younger than those who did not take one. In my practice, I've seen patients who are dealing with brain fatigue perk up after addressing deficiencies with a daily multivitamin. It's not a miracle pill, but it helps ensure that foundational nutrients are there. When your brain has what it needs to perform, you feel the difference. Clearer thinking, better focus, and even a more stable mood. Not all multivitamins are created equally, and there is data to support that liposomal and other advanced encapsulated multivitamin preparations are currently the most effective for improving absorption and bioavailability, especially for fat-soluble vitamins and iron as compared to standard tablet formulation. I also advise looking for reputable brands with third-party testing that include active forms of nutrients like methylated B vitamins and adequate minerals and no unnecessary fillers. Take it with a meal for best absorption Remember, a multivitamin won't replace a healthy diet, but it will help fill the nutritional potholes on the road your brain is traveling. Number four, vitamin D3 with K2. In general, the battle against brain aging begins with your immune system. When your immune system is out of balance, it creates chronic, low-grade inflammation that directly harms the brain. A staggering number of us including 61% of older adults in the United States are deficient in a key neurohormone that controls this process, vitamin D. This deficiency is linked to everything from depression and mood disorders to an increased risk of cognitive decline. Observational cohort data suggests that regular vitamin D supplementation is associated with a lower risk of incident Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia, but causality remains uncertain. Clinical and mechanistic studies show that combined supplementation of vitamin D and K2 improves bone mineral density and bone quality more than either alone, likely due to synergistic effects on calcium utilization and bone matrix protein activation. Vitamin D3 is the master commander of your immune response, calming the neuroinflammatory signals that damage brain cells. But its power is only fully unlocked when paired with vitamin K2. Think of it this way, D3 helps manage calcium, but K2 is the traffic cop that directs that calcium into your bones and out of your brain's blood vessels, helping maintain healthy blood flow 
and protecting against the vascular damage linked to dementia. The latest clinical trials are electrifying. A 2024 study showed that D3 and K2 combination significantly improved inflammatory markers and immune dysfunction in patients with long COVID, a condition notorious for its neurological symptoms. This is about fortifying your brain's defense system. Number three, ashwagandha. If magnesium from your multi is the break, ashwagandha is the master shock absorber for your brain's stress response system. Chronic stress keeps your cortisol levels persistently high which is toxic to the hippocampus in the brain, impairing memory, shrinking brain volume, and accelerating brain aging. Ashwagandha is a powerful adaptogen, meaning it helps your body and brain adapt to stress. It works by regulating the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis or HPA axis, your stress response command center, helping to normalize cortisol levels. This directly protects your brain from the corrosive effects of chronic stress. The science is compelling. A 2025 meta-analysis confirmed that ashwagandha significantly reduces blood cortisol levels. Beyond just stress, clinical trials have shown it can improve cognitive function, including memory, executive function, and attention, particularly in adults with mild cognitive impairment. Number two, omega-3 fatty acids, my favorite. The nutrient I teased at the start, the one too many of us are missing, omega-3 fatty acids. Specifically, the omega-3s DHA and EPA, found in fish oil, for example, and algae from plant-based sources. If I had to pick a single top supplement for brain health, this is it. Omega-3s are literally the building blocks of the brain. Up to 30% of your brain's dry weight is DHA fat. These fats create flexible, healthy cell membranes in the brain, which allow neurons to communicate quickly and reduce inflammation. Perhaps that's why not getting enough omega-3s is as deadly as smoking as I mentioned earlier. It sounds crazy, but extensive research backs it up. One Harvard analysis attributed roughly 84,000 preventable deaths a year to omega-3 deficiency. It's a key reason heart disease is so rampant. Omega-3s are crucial for heart and blood vessel health. And what's bad for the heart is bad for the brain. To put it in perspective, if you have low omega-3 levels, your risk of dying is similar to someone who smokes. That's how powerful this nutrient is across the body. So what does omega-3 do for your brain? In short, it keeps your brain young, happy, and sharp. DHA is a major component of synapses, those are the connections between brain cells, so it's critical for learning and memory. EPA, the other key omega-3, helps tame inflammation throughout the body and brain. Together, they promote smoother communication between neurons and even encourage the release of BDNF, that's brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a growth factor that supports neuron growth and plasticity. Studies have found that people with higher omega-3 intake or blood levels tend to have lower rates of depression, better focus, and a lower risk of cognitive decline. For instance, one study showed that older adults with the highest omega-3 levels had significantly less brain shrinkage with age than those with low levels, essentially preserving brain function for longer. Another 2024 trial showed that fish oil significantly slowed the rate of brain cell degeneration in older adults with a genetic risk for Alzheimer's disease. I've seen similar trends in my clinic. Patients who start taking fish oil often report improvements in their mood and mental clarity. One patient of mine in his 50s said he felt like a fog was lifted after a couple months on a quality fish oil, along with a good diet, and his wife noticed he was in a better mood and more mentally engaged. That's the real life impact of feeding your brain what it's built from. Now, because omega-3s are so critical, I make them a cornerstone recommendation. You can get them by eating fatty fish like salmon, sardines, and mackerel a few times a week, something I strongly encourage. But many people don't hit that target. And that's where a fish oil supplement comes in. I do have a couple of tips here. Quality matters. 
Fish oil can go rancid if it's poor quality or old, which not only negates the benefits, but can actually introduce harm. Because oxidized oils are pro-inflammatory, the opposite of what we want. So choose a reputable brand that provides purity testing, free of mercury and other contaminants, and has an expiration date well in the future. I often tell patients, if your fish oil capsule tastes extremely fishy or gives you rancid burps, toss it. That means it's probably oxidized. A good fish oil should smell fairly neutral or only mildly fishy. Always check with your doctor if you're on blood thinners, as fish oil can have a mild blood thinning effect in high doses, and they have to be stopped about two weeks before surgery. But for most people, a moderate daily dose is not only safe, it's transformative. Number one, N-acetylcysteine, or NAC. When it comes to cutting edge brain supplements with serious potential, N-acetylcysteine, or NAC, is the sleeper hit that deserves the spotlight. Once known primarily as an emergency room medication, this humble molecule is now making waves in neuroscience and functional medicine circles alike. NAC acts mainly by serving as a precursor for glutathione, the body's principal intracellular antioxidant, thereby helping to restore redox balance and protect cells from oxidative stress. It is sold as a supplement, but at higher doses, it is a critical medication that protects the liver during acetaminophen overdose and the lungs in premature infants. Beyond these established uses, NAC has demonstrated anti-inflammatory and immune effects and is being investigated for a range of conditions including neuropsychiatric brain disorders, cardiovascular disease, and others. My team at the Marcus Institute has been studying the effects of NAC in Parkinson's patients and other patients with brain disorders. The effects so far have been quite impressive. We have seen brain scans change and improvements in clinical symptoms. By giving them N-acetylcysteine, we can get it into the brain, and once in the brain, it can be converted into glutathione. And glutathione has powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. And there's a lot of evidence to suggest that at least one of the problems experienced in Parkinson's disease is neuroinflammation. So this is a way, by giving N-acetylcysteine, to help attack and reduce the neuroinflammation that people with Parkinson's disease are experiencing. It's significant because Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative condition. And if we have anything that is safe, that potentially modifies the underlying course of the disease, that's really exciting. I think we will be hearing a lot more about this molecule and its neuroprotective effects in the coming months and years. Also, NAC itself is not commonly found in food sources, so it must be taken as a medication when indicated or a nutritional supplement. Now let's sell the board and review our five important brain supplements. Here they are. Remember, a good multivitamin helps to feed the brain with those required vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, and we want this to be as high quality as possible. Vitamin D combined with K2, that combination is important together. It has a protective effect on the brain and we buy this as a combined supplement. Ashwagandha is our botanical. It's a brain enhancer. And remember, this is an herbal preparation. Omega-3 fatty acids, critical part of the brain itself. This replenishes the brain. We need that good fat. Food is the best source, aquatic sources, fatty fish, but sometimes we need to get some extra in supplemental form as well. And then the new kit on the block, N-acetylcysteine or NAC. This is a new restorative supplement, something that our team is researching and there's good emerging data on. Okay, that's all for today. Please remember, these supplements are not magic pills. They are powerful allies to support the foundations of a healthy diet, good sleep, and regular movement. They work by fixing underlying biological deficits that drive accelerated brain aging. Now, with the support of your doctor, which one are you going to start with? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, this is House Call. I'm Dr. Monty. Until next time, be well. Our staff writes questions on little stickies while I'm recording. I've never seen them before, so let's see what they came up with. Why is this episode of House Call filmed in the office? Did you sell your house or forget to pay the rent? Neither. We actually are hosting a big conference that we'll be filming at tomorrow, and it's close to the office. So 
Hopefully we'll be back at my home soon. Let's be honest, aside from you, when was the last time anyone actually finished a bottle of multivitamins before it expired? But seriously, can you still take vitamins after they've expired? No, don't take them after they expired. The expiration date is there for a reason. We want them fresh and as bioactive as possible. And I think many people have finished the bottle. Fish is brain food, but what happens when I deep fry it? Well, then you kind of deep fry your brain because all that healthful benefit out the window. 61% of older adults are deficient. Did they all move to Seattle? What? If your brain were made of DHA, does that mean sushi counts as therapy? I guess a little bit, because there is some good DHA in the fish as you're eating in sushi. And I find it actually a nice experience to go out for sushi with someone that you really like being with. Dr. Monty, you're a scientist and an integrative medicine doctor. So you charge double for telling me to eat blueberries? This is for free and the blueberries are helpful as are all of the other things in a nutrient dense diet. Well, that's about all I can take from my staff for today. So until next time.